Third time's a charm with this video. I've tried to summarize my thoughts three times and uh, I keep changing my mind. So the video is in contradiction with what I'm currently thinking. I've been trying to get an acoustic sound direct into a PA. Um, this is something I've always struggled with. It's, it's a, very much a compromise, an acoustic sound between something that sounds natural and something that sounds usable in a live environment. For you guys who are acoustic aficionados or uh, acoustic purists, I'm an electric guitarist that I, I need to fulfill a role in a band. A band basically has asked me to, uh, to play acoustic lead guitar. It's kind of a wedding type situation, so the drummer's playing full sticks a lot of the time, and there's a lot of volume to contend with. I also find that playing with another acoustic guitarist, the two sounds merge together and you don't get the same separation that you would if you had an electric guitar playing with an acoustic guitar. So I've tried different routes about getting a, a live sound. The first was to use different pedals, so EQ and compression, um, which sort of works, but I don't like that inherent sort of quackiness that you get with an undersettled pickup. I don't find it very inspiring to play on. I then tried using uh, acoustic impulse responses, which is basically a very uh, complex EQ curve that allows you to put an undersaddle pickup through it and then the resultant sound is more like a mic'd up acoustic. Uh, it does give you the flavor of a mic'd up acoustic but it doesn't necessarily respond in quite the same way and if you really dig in you'll still hear that kind of very aggressive upper mid frequency that an undersaddle pickup puts out even with EQ you'll hear it poking through the IR e even if you go like a hundred percent wet so you're using all of the uh, all of the IR, which can be quite a brittle sound as well. The other two approaches that I've tried are buying a pickup, an aftermarket pickup, the Fishman Rare Earth Blend, which is a sound hole pickup. Uh, so it's got a magnetic element and, um, and a, a microphone on a, on a gooseneck that goes inside the body of the guitar, uh, which is cool, but has some issues for me in a live environment, namely feedback would be one with a band. Um, and I've also tried buying another guitar entirely. That little clip you just saw there was the Fishman Rare Earth, uh, but the Rare Earth Blend. So it's got the little gooseneck mic on it and you can blend between the magnetic and the mic. To start with, I wasn't blown away by that pickup. It's 245 quid, which is a lot for a pickup. So I was kind of, I'm expecting good things from it. Um, but I think on this guitar, on the OM series, uh, I think it's a good fit for that because that's not too mid-rangey and the pickup is quite mid-rangey and they kind of complement each other. The other thing I did when trying to overcome this problem was buy another guitar. <laughs> so I bought um, I bought a Larave Parlor series. Uh, I like the brand Larave, I like their guitars. Um, so I bought the O2, this is an O3, the, uh, the OM. So I, I kind of a downgrade. Now this is an either or situation. I, I have to get rid of the OM if I'm gonna keep the Parlor. If I could get mine to work for me, I think I'll send the Parlor back. That's that's my thoughts right now. <laughs> A 
filmed a little bit my uh, my acoustic open mic last night, um, and on review of the footage, I think that the uh, the Fishman is a, a more natural sounding option than an undersaddle pickup. I think the mic can sound very natural. I will say it will feed back very early on. Um, if you step on any kind of solo boost at all, that mic's just going to scream. You saw me adjust the blend at the start of that solo. So the first note of the solo, I was on about a 50-50 blend, and then I probably went to more like a 70-30 in favor of the magnetic from the second note onwards. Um, for slide playing, I would say that the magnetic is, is better. Um, I've got a cheap Schorler sound hole pickup that I put on a guitar that I got for 25 quid for running open mics. Um, I, I might have a tiny bit of footage of that, the battery on the camera died. I'm not sure that that didn't sound better for slide. Um, sometimes using the runt of the litter sounds better for slide guitar. It's kind of like a mid-range thing. <laughs> Fishman is voiced a bit more acoustic-y, even the magnetic portion of it is voiced a bit more acoustic-y, if that's a word. Um, it's, uh, it doesn't sound like a humbucker on, on like a Les Paul or something, it's, it's kind of got its own thing happening. Which is good, it sounds more natural, and it is usable, so I, I kind of like it. I'm still not sold on it being 200 quid's worth of sound, is, is probably what I'm grumbling at, is the price more than anything. I've had my Laravel OM guitar for a number of years, and it's a great guitar, but I've never really got on with it. And a large part of that is because whenever I play acoustic, I'm doing it live, and I really don't like the sound of the pickup. It's an LR Bags, uh, just a simple undersaddle, there's no mic involved. Um, and whilst it might be sort of natural, I guess, as undersaddle pickups go, it's natural, but it's quite brittle, and it's not really the sound that I'm looking for. Which brings me to another point, I don't really know the sound that I'm looking for, that's, that's a big deal for me with acoustic. With electric guitar, I, I really know what sound I'm going for, I have a very clear picture in my mind about what I want to sound like and how I'm going to achieve it with the gear that I've got. With an acoustic, I've never really gone on that same tone quest, and I've not really defined in my mind what type of acoustic sound it is that I want to hear. I've not found anyone other than Jerry Douglas that I really like the slide sound, so if you guys know of anyone that gets um, a slide sound out of an acoustic guitar using a pickup, not a mic. So, you know, Kelly Joe Phelps is an incredible player, but he just mics up his resonator guitar. That's just not an option with a band. You couldn't get it to go loud enough. So answers in the comments, a slide guitarist that uses a pickup on an acoustic guitar that gets a really great live sound. Because um, I'll check him out. I need to get straight in my head what it is that I'm searching for in order to know what it is when I hear it. Now originally I said that it was a, an either-or situation that I was going to either ditch the OM or send the parlor back. In the event, I'm going to keep both of them. Um, I figure that the Rosewood, uh, the Rosewood OM is, is an appreciating guitar. You know, I've already made money on it. It's a lot more expensive than it was when I bought it. Um, I think with uh, Rosewood, the scarcity and import-export problems, um, I think those guitars are going to appreciate in value. So. I could either have that money in my account or I could have it in the form of a guitar and it's an asset either way. So I'm going to keep all of that. The parlor guitar, I'm going to keep all of because I like the smaller form factor. I like the added mid range. I think it's a really sweet sound. And with this pickup, I think I can get something that's usable for me live. Uh, the undersaddle pickup in it is a Shadow Nanoflex, which oddly sounds a lot bigger and bassier than the OM. Uh, through a PA, it's, it's a bigger sound. I like it, but it's still got that very aggressive upper mid, and I, I don't care for it, especially when I'm playing slide. It sounds like nails on a blackboard. You play vibrato, and you just get that sh -sh -sh kind of horrible high-end thing happening. Uh, whereas the magnetic, 
you can treat it more like an electric guitar, you can put a bit of compression on it and that kind of thing. One of the benefits of having the magnetic in this environment with two guitarists playing acoustic is that there's a bit more separation. If you had an electric guitarist and an acoustic guitarist, they, they kind of operate in their own frequency spectrum. I don't know, there's just a lot more separation, whereas two acoustic guitarists can kind of trip over each other a little bit, especially if one of them's uh, grabbing a whole chord and, and having at it. Getting one note to float over the top of it, I find particularly tricky. This Fishburne, by the way, is really quiet. It's a really quiet pickup. I had a Boss EQ with the EQ set flat, but the volume on full. Now that's quite a hike in volume. Volume on full on that, and I still had the gain on the desk a lot higher than if I was just running an undersaddle pickup straight into the desk. That's not a lot of level. Now I don't know whether that's just maybe my unit or maybe the battery's dying. By the way, battery access. If your battery dies, it's those little tiny, um, little button battery things and they're on the underside of the pickup so you have to take the pickup out of the sound hole if you want to change the battery I'm not sure that's a good thing in a live environment you don't have to take the strings off but at the same time that's kind of a ball ache in the middle of a gig isn't it take the pickup out of the guitar I think a combination of that pickup the parlor guitar and the EQ pedal and I've got a sound that I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, for now I guess things are subject to change, as evidenced by my four summaries. Actually, it was three summaries, and one time I forgot to run the audio. So um, <laughs> if you can just get a guitar and you can just plug it in and have at it, that's the way to go. But these things are always going to be a bit of a compromise. For now, I'm happy that I've got a sound that sounds like something, and uh, maybe it's subject to change in the future. But for now, I'm keeping the parlor, and I'm keeping the, uh, the Fishman pickup. All right, later.